Ares fought for his father, Aegon v Targaryen, in the War of the Ninepenny Kings. He took on the tradition of Targaryen inbreeding in order to keep bloodlines pure by marrying his sister Rhaella Targaryen. After his father and brother died at the tragedy at Summerhall, he became Ares Targaryen, the second of his name. While he was young, Ares appeared to be generous, ambitious and wise, beginning his reign as peaceful and prosperous. Ares was loved and respected by both lords and commoners. He later became spiteful of the power of others, especially that of his hand of the king, Tywin Lannister, who had once been one of his closest friends. He eventually grew paranoid of his own family members and his small council. During the defiance of Duskendale, Ares was imprisoned and tormented for six months, until he was rescued by Sir Barristan Selmy, his imprisonment marking the beginning of Ares's madness. He executed all those who were involved in the rebellion. The worst punishment was given to Lord Dennis's wife, Sarala of Mir, first mutilated and then burned alive. Commonly remembered as, the Mad King, his reign became increasingly erratic and murderous. Despite the fact that nobody expected Ares to turn up, he suddenly arrived at the Great Tourney at Harrenhal. During this tourney, Ares knighted Jaime Lannister and admitted him to the Kingsguard, but not for his valor and honor. Instead, he wanted to spite his hand, Tywin Lannister. His eldest son, Rhaegar Targaryen, competed in the tourney, and after winning, he shunned his own wife, Aelia Martell, and laid his winning roses in the lap of Lyanna Stark of Winterfell. A final round of bloodletting began when Rhaegar allegedly kidnapped Lyanna, prompting many houses in the realm to rebel. Brandon Stark rode to King's Landing, protesting the abduction of his sister and demanding justice. Ares had him arrested for treason and then offered to ransom him to his father. However, when Rickard Stark rode to King's Landing as he was bid to ransom Brandon, Ares had him arrested too, and then brutally executed both father and son. Afterward, Ares demanded John Arryn to turn over Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon, who was still in the Eyrie, to await the king's justice. Instead, John called his banners and rebelled, with the noble houses of Stark, Tully, and Baratheon following suit. The rebellion destroyed the royalist armies in several major engagements, culminating in the Battle of the Trident where Prince Rhaegar died at the hands of Lyanna's betrothed Robert Baratheon, the leader of the rebels. King Ares was betrayed by his former friend and hand Tywin Lannister, who led an army under the false pretense of defending the capital at King's Landing. When Ares opened the gates under Grand Maester Pycelle's council, Tywin proceeded to brutally sack the city. Ares ordered Jaime to bring him Tywin's head, before ordering his pyromancer, Rossart, to initiate the wildfire plot. In response, Jaime killed Rossart, before stabbing Ares in the back, who tried to flee, and then cutting his throat, ending his reign and thwarting his insane plot. Ares's death is not avenged, as Robert Baratheon pardoned Jaime at the end of the war. It also brought an end to the Targaryen dynasty, which had ruled the Seven Kingdoms for three centuries. Ares was replaced on the Iron Throne by Robert. However, the Targaryen bloodline survived through his grandson, Jon Snow, the product of Rhaegar's secret marriage to Lyanna, the two eloping in mutual love rather than the latter being kidnapped, who was passed off as a bastard of Winterfell by his maternal uncle Eddard, and his two youngest children, Viserys and Daenerys, who were spirited away to the free cities.